Hello, beloved tech team. Today will be a short tutorial on ProPresenter, our new system that will replace MediaShout, RIP. You will be missed. So you'll see on ProPresenter, on the left-hand side, you're going to see the order of service just like MediaShout had. So we have our typical countdown, our welcome slides, our songs, and our sermon. And on the upper left here has our different services labeled by date. So if you want to see last week's service, you can just click on it and look at it. They're actually pretty similar programs, MediaShout and ProPresenter. The main goal is getting the content that you have out for people to see, and doing it in a way that makes your content look good. Except you can think of MediaShout and ProPresenter like a nerdy little brother and an athletic older brother. <laughs> ProPresenter is the older brother athlete here. There are just a few key things to remember with ProPresenter in this learning curve that we'll go over. ProPresenter works in layers. It has the ability to do up to six layers, meaning we can layer backgrounds, countdowns, images, text, etc. MediaShout had some of that capability, but ProPresenter really separates these layers out. You don't have to worry about doing that layering. The extent of the layering that you'll be doing is backgrounds and lyrics. Another distinctive feature of ProPresenter is that you can send your screens to different locations. That means that not only can these screens go to our two projectors in the sanctuary, but they can also go directly to the live stream on Facebook and YouTube, and even to our TV lobbies. I've already preset some settings that we'll be switching back and forth between when we want to send different things to our screens. For example, for our lyrics, we'll have the main lyrics with a background showing up on our projectors in-house, but for the live stream, we'll have a little lyric box on the bottom to help people read them a little easier. So since we're sending different things to different screens, we just have to make a simple click to switch over to the different styles between teaching and lyrics. For the teaching, for example, we want our images to go right over instead of being in that little box. So we just have to click the setting before heading into the sermon. There are only two preset settings that we'll be switching to throughout the service. That's the small lyric boxes that you just saw and the plain old images. So for the countdown, we want them to see our images. And for the teaching, we want them to see our images too. But for the lyrics, we want those small lyric boxes. So I've labeled these two settings accordingly. The first one that shows the live stream, the same thing that we're seeing is called pre-service teaching because that's what we'll be using for pre-service. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Pre-service teaching. So we're going to use this for pre-service and teaching. The other setting that will show them the small lyric boxes is labeled lyrics, because that's what we'll be using for the lyric portion, the song portion of the service. Firstly, let's get a little familiar with what ProPresenter looks like. So here's the main portion in the center, which shows you everything planned out for the service already spread out. If you scroll down, it's all going to be in order. So those were our pre-service slides. Here's our welcome slide. Here are our lyrics for the songs. And then we have our space for the sermon here. And then some more songs. And a goodbye slide. At the bottom, you're going to see a media bank here. It's just going to sit here. And you can easily switch out backgrounds at any point. I'm going to have most of the backgrounds already preset, but this is just here if you ever wanted to use it. So I'm going to walk you through a typical service from countdown to the end. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our settings are set for pre-service. So you click up here on screens and you'll see a tab labeled live. It'll show you in italics what's already selected. So you'll see now it's on lyrics. So we have to switch it to pre-service. If you take a look here at the right, what's really cool is you can see previews of what's being sent to each screen. Screen and screen one are always going to be our two main projectors, and those are going to be the same as each other. So we don't have to worry about switching between screen and screen one. If you're on one of them, it's going to be the same as the other one. Live stream lyrics is what everyone on Facebook and YouTube are seeing. So you can keep it on this live stream lyrics screen view and just see what our main projectors are seeing on the other monitor. We've incorporated some pre-service trivia in this season of coronavirus as people are tuning in online and watching the countdown. So for the beginning, we're going to start our countdown first at 1027 like normal. The countdown here you can find under messages up top, and it's going to be layered on top of the trivia. So first we're going to set off our countdown by clicking on this little messages tab 
and hitting this little show button down here on the right. And your countdown should show automatically, just like that. Then you can click off of messages, there's a little X here, just X out of it. And then you can hit your first slide. It's going to automatically advance by itself, just like the pre-service slides did in MediaShop. So here you're all set. You don't have to touch anything else until the countdown reaches zero. Once the countdown reaches zero, you're going to go over to your right and clear your layers. It's highlighted in red here. You do have the ability to clear separate layers, but there's no need to do that for our purposes. So you can just hit the clear all. And this is a very important step because as we said earlier, ProPresenter excels in layering stuff. So if you don't clear before going to the next thing, it's going to simply layer things on top of each other. At this point, after clearing, you can switch over to the lyrics setting. So we go up to our screens here, the live tab, and then hit lyrics. Now we can put up our welcome slide. And unlike Media Show, we just need one click. We don't have to double click or fire our slides in any specific way. That also means that we have to be careful where we're clicking because you can easily fire a slide by clicking on another one. So firing our songs is pretty simple. The only major difference is that the backgrounds are a slide themselves that we're going to click on before the actual words. You will always see the background slides at the beginning of the song. Alternatively, you can click on one of the backgrounds down here and click on the lyrics and it will apply. So for example, let's say that I am going through this song, I'm clicking on the background first, hitting those lyrics and I'm like, you know what, I don't think that the lyrics pop out against this background very much. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to hit this one. Automatically it changes it for you. So that's an alternative for you. For the most part, I'm going to have all the backgrounds all set, hopefully set well so that they don't clash. But if you ever feel like one of them does clash, feel free. You have creative control to choose out another one. So you click on the background first, and then you cycle through the songs. Like normal, you could do that one click to advance. You can't use the space bar like you did in Media Shout to advance. You could either do one click, or you could use your arrow and advance to the right. And you can see that the boxes are highlighted. Whatever one is showing is highlighted. And when we get to the next song, we don't have to clear our layers, because the new background will override the last song's background. So we'll do the same thing here. Click the background, here's our next song, click the background, then cycle through the lyrics. And the cool thing is, automatically, whatever lyrics we're doing here is being sent over to the live stream. And you can see that in this viewfinder box here. If you click on this and you go to live stream lyrics, you'll see that box that they're getting. So automatically as you're advancing, you're getting the big screen and you're getting that small screen for the live stream. All right, so we're at the sermon. This is where the sermon would go. And the first thing we have to remember when switching from songs to sermon, we want to clear our layers. And then we do that switch to the pre-service teaching. We go to our screens, live, and then hit pre-service teaching. And then we fire our sermon slides like normal by clicking once and cycling through. We don't have any sermon slides in here, but it would be just like these slides except they'd have backgrounds on the back, like normal images, and you just click through them. So once we're done with the sermon, we go back to our songs, like this would be the song right after the sermon. We want to make sure that we clear the layers, and then switch back over to the lyrics. And again, we're going to hit our background first, and then we're going to cycle through those lyrics. And then, once we're done with our songs at the end of the service, clear, and then we'll hit our goodbye slide. And for this slide, you don't have to, when you get to the goodbye slide, you don't have to switch back over to teaching. You're just going to hit it as it is. And over here, for this box, I'm going to set it up so that it says goodbye. So we're only really switching back and forth three times in the service. The first time is from the pre-service to our songs, right? So we we'll switch from pre-service to lyrics for our songs. After our songs, we get to the sermon, we get to the sermon, switch to teaching, and once we're done, done with the sermon, go back to lyrics, and then we're done. 
One more note that you don't have to worry about now, but in this season of coronavirus, when our main worshipping is taking place online, we're maximizing all content to be online friendly. For example, our sermon slides look a little different and smaller in person in the sanctuary. They only take up the bottom third of the screen because we want them to format properly for online. Ideally, we want a large image to project to our projector and smaller images to our live stream, but we're going to tackle that in the future. So just a note that things might change a little bit when we get back to normal in terms of when we switch back in our tabs, but for now, these instructions will apply for the foreseeable future. While we went over quite a few details in this video, it's all pretty simple, especially when you get your hands on the program and you get used to it. I've also put together a one-page document of short reminder tips to help out with the learning curve, like remembering to clear layers and switch tabs. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for serving in this way. I've always had the utmost respect for Tech Team because it's often a thankless task that's filled with stress and whenever something goes wrong, heads are always turning back to the tech booth. You guys are warriors and you're making a huge difference for the kingdom, both here and now and for eternity. I love you guys.